trying to communicate to you today. Hallelujah. In regarding to the power of his might. Now there is a power that is at work. And the Bible says that we have these treasures in earthen vessel. That the excellency of the power might not be a fast boat of God. Oh yes. It might not be of you and me, but of God. No wonder he said the kingdom of God is within you. Yeah, the spirit that will raise up Jesus Christ from the dead dwell in your mortal body. And that he can do exceedingly abundantly above all. We ask I think according to that power that is at work. Within us, the power of his might, the power of his might that is the authentication, that is the proof, that is the evidence that you are a minister of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter kill it, but it is the spirit that give it life. Not in the enticing word of man wisdom. But in the demonstration of the spirit and of the power that our faith may not rest upon the enticing word of man wisdom, but upon the power of God. We also read how that Jesus came back out of the wilderness in the power of the spirit and his fame went far and wide. You can only be strong in what you are conscious of. What you are aware of. For if you don't know, you have received something when the Holy Ghost have come upon you. You won't operate and function in faith. Hallelujah. And by faith, and we read that the just shall live. By faith. Amen. Amen. Let the power of the Lord manifest. Manifest. Let the power of the Lord manifest. Let the power of the Lord from heaven manifest. Let the power of the Lord manifest. Let the anointing of the Lord manifest. Manifest. Let the anointing of the Lord manifest. Let the anointing of the Lord from heaven manifest. Let the anointing of the Lord manifest. Let the glory of the Lord manifest, manifest. Let the glory of the Lord manifest. Let the glory of the Lord from heaven manifest. Let the glory of the Lord manifest. The power of His might. The power of his might. Could somebody quickly turn to the book of Acts 3, reading from verse 1 to 8? Acts 3, reading from verse 1 to verse 8. Anyone? Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. And Peter fastened his eyes upon him, with John said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand 
and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. So they were aware that they have received something and they act and activate the power of God. May you act also and activate the power of God. Acts 8, 4 to 8. And I will quickly read Acts 8, 4 to 8. Therefore they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracle which he did. For an clean spirit crying with loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them. And many taken with palsy, and that were lame, were healed. And there was great joy in that city. So he, Philip the Evangelist, he was only preaching. He was also doing. For he know he had received something. Amen. Praise God. The power of his might. The power of his might. We were told. We were commanded to be strong in the Lord. And the power of his might. The people that know their God shall be strong. And do great exploit. Acts 20. 7. To 12, could somebody quickly read Acts 27 to 12? Bless his holy and wonderful name. Anyone? And upon the first day of the week, when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul preached unto them, ready to depart on the morrow, and continued his speech until midnight. And there were many lights in the upper chamber where they were gathered together. And there sat in a window a certain young man named Eutychus, being fallen into a deep sleep. And as Paul was long preaching, he sunk down with sleep and fell down from the third loft and was taken up dead. And Paul went down and fell on him, and embracing him, said, Trouble not yourself, for his life is in him. When he therefore was come up again, and had broken bread, and eaten, and talked a long while, even till the break of day, so he departed. And they brought the young man alive, and were not a little comforted. Amen. Amen. You know, the Bible says something, you know, and it does dawn on me again. It said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. So it's important for us to be joyful. Paul the Apostle said, rejoice again, I say unto you, rejoice. Even sometimes when you go through a difficult situation, troublous, troublesome things, he's still saying, rejoice again, I said to you, rejoice. Because joy gives strength. And the Bible says, in his presence, there is fullness of joy. The power of his might. The power of his might. As I said before, for as many as receive him, 
He gave them the power to become the sons of God, even they who believe in his name. And we know that Jesus himself is known as the son of God. And he was saying that the works that I do, you shall also do. And even greater works because I've gone unto my father. So as I have ten times said, Jesus is not a liar. Jesus tell the truth. So we must desire to be like Christ. Walk like Christ. Talk like Christ. And do the works that Christ have done. The Bible says, You have and good works that we also should walk in them. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So I just have to smile at the name. Uh, yeah, I call it now. <laughs> The, ne ne the, ne ne the naiveness. Yeah, the naiveness of some minister to what is written in the word of God. Sometimes we just have to smile. Or should I say laugh at some minister refusal to acknowledge, hallelujah, the promises that it is for us today and not only for the early church fathers back then. Hallelujah. I have to laugh at their purposefully denial of what is written in the word of God. Then the word of God said Jesus the same yesterday, today and forever. I believe that's what it has said. Amen. So now I want to know how can they explain away 1 Corinthians 12, 1 to 11. And I believe we know what is in 1 Corinthians 12, 1 to 11. But per adventure, for those who don't know, I think let us quickly read it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Still speaking to you along this line. The power of his might. Amen. The power of his might. Anybody 1 Corinthians 12, 1 to 11? Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus a curse, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord by, but by the Holy Ghost. Now there are the diverse gifts of gifts, but the same spirit, and there are differences of administration, but the same Lord, and there are that diverse piece of operation, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. For the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with us. For to one is given by the spirit the word of wisdom, Amen. to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit, Amen. to another by the same spirit, to another the gift of healing by the same spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another the prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, Amen. to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues, but all these work as one and the self-same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. For as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. Amen. Master Jesus. So, <laughs> this is black and white, ain't it? It is plain for all to see. It is plain. That the Holy Ghost has given certain gifts to the body of Christ. Yeah. To the church. 
to authenticate, validate, and confirm the message of the kingdom. Now, is there any place in the Holy Bible suggesting that these gifts were withdrawn from the church, from the body of Christ? And as far as I can see, or I have seen, no evidence is there to back up that argument. But hear ye what the word of God says about some. They have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Don't let them infect you with their unbelief. Don't you know unbelief is dangerous and can be contagious? But I'm still speaking to you on the topic, the power of his might. The power of his might. Arise, shine, for the light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and grass darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light and king to the brightness of thy rising. May this be a portion to thee in the name of Jesus. May this be a portion to thee in Jesus' name. Could you pass back your mic, my sister? Ephesians 6, reading from verse 10 to 8, and I will quickly read Ephesians 6, reading from verse 10 to 8. Hallelujah, I say, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We have taken to you the whole arm of God. That you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand. Stand therefore. Having your line girt about with truth. Having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shod. With the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all taking the shield of faith. Wherewith you shall be able. To quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the element of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Pray now is with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for our saint. And for me that utterance may be given unto me. Hallelujah. That I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. It was from 10 to 18, but I go over to verse 19. Praise Master Jesus, child of God, saint of the most, I make no mistake. You will come up against opposition. Spiritual opposition that sometimes plays out itself in a physical way. Satan won't allow free reign for you to operate and do as you please. Satan will use everything available in his arsenal to prevent you from using or exercising your faith, practicing your faith. For how do they work miracles among you, isn't it, by the hearing of it? Hallelujah. And we know that fear is the complete opposite of faith. 
And where fear is predominant, faith become neutralized. No wonder the word of God says, let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Be not afraid. Only believe. And that is our slogan. This is a gospel of one team. Be not afraid. Only believe. The power of his might. The power of his might. What is the power of his might? The power of the Holy Ghost is the power of his might. And may that power come upon you today. Rest upon you today. The power to do the impossible. To walk in the miraculous. In the supernatural. Because we are sons and daughter of an extraordinary God. So we have become also extraordinary. We are not ordinary. We have the ability to operate and function in the supernatural. Because we are children of the most high God. And he said the children whom the Lord have given unto him. Therefore signs and wonder in Jerusalem. From the Lord God of hosts. Today my brothers and sisters. I think I will bring the sermon to a close. Although there are many more things to be said. Where this is concerned. The power of his might. There are many more Bible reading that need to be read. But we won't get through everything. But this is just to encourage you to store faith in your heart. Because the Bible says faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Every time the word of God is being spoken in your hearing, it has the ability to quicken you because it's a life transforming word. Jesus said, The word I speak, they are spirit and they are life. They have the ability to empower you, to equip and enable you, hallelujah, to operate and function in that dimension. Amen. You got to begin to see yourself in the light of the word of God. That indeed you can also do it too. Because the Christ, the anointed one, is in your heart by faith. The Bible says Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. Amen. The power of his might. The power of is might father may you bless them bless them and let we hear testimony let testimony spring forth yes do a new thing let the wind of your spirit blow do new things dear god in the name of jesus things that have never been done before because you say we should believe you for great and mighty things amen